Hey music fans, as a roadie I had this great opportunity to tour with all these bands. I wrote a book about my experiences on the road and it was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios and it's now sold millions of copies on Kindle. I'm Joel Roadie and this is my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. So we'll do a little bit of both. I have you guys watch my channel. I do this a lot now, but I, I like to take both of my reactions and I put them together and you guys jump in the mix and you put in the comments what you think about both tracks. Billy Joel and Itzhak Perelman. Pretty cool. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Playing a Stradivarius is what he plays too. Oh, wow. Versus Tommy Johansson playing an awesome guitar, doing some cool stuff. You guys are welcome to like both. You're welcome to love both. Did you like one better than the other? Did one have more charm than the other? <laughs> you guys can be the judge. I can tell you one thing. You guys know I don't have an Alexa in my room because when I say that word, nothing pops up. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys do that overseas? So here with Amazon, you say Alexa, and then the things, what would you like? How can I help you? What's the temperature outside? And so we get a lot of that. So anyway, I might have just heard it in my kitchen. <laughs> okay, guys. Anyway, enjoy. Thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. This video is from March of 2015. It's Billy Joel and Itzhak Perlman. Yeah, Billy Joel released a new track recently. I think the video actually just went up on YouTube today. You guys can check that out here if you want to. I did listen to the track. I did not watch the video yet. I thought the track was okay, but I like Billy Joel. Anyway, why am I doing this then? So a guy by the name of Tommy Johansson did a cover of a track called The Down Easter Alexa today. And so I thought it'd be fun to go back and do a Billy Joel version. Now, I know the track already, and so I thought maybe I could find something fun live. And I did! <laughs> I found Billy Joel performing with Itzhak Perelman. This should be super, super cool. Haven't seen this before. So let's jump this together and see what we think. Let's give it a go. That's Mark Rivera. I'm gonna bring on the guest musician tonight uh, is gonna do a couple of songs with us here. Um, and uh, I'll explain uh, who he is and what he did. Uh, please welcome Itzhak Perlman. man is the greatest violinist in the world today. And he played on a song that we recorded back in, uh, I think it was 1989. And uh, he, the credit he got on the album was world famous incognito violinist. <laughs> he hadn't quite worked out the deal yet. Anyway, um, uh, it was very, very kind of him to play on this song. We, we played a fiddle on the Down Easter Alexa. So that's his solo. That's cool. You gotta put the uh, pickup on the mic, I think. I actually didn't know that. You're a pickup artist, right? Very funny. Here we go. You good? You got it? You hearing anything? You good? You on? There we go. But 
That's the guy. <laughs> You're the man. Thank you. I don't know, I think the conversation stuff was just as neat as the track. It was cool. Itzhak Perlman seemed to absolutely enjoy himself. A little bit something different for him, a bit of pop music, something fun, right? As the song was going forward, I'm sort of like, hmm, not a lot going on on the violin here. And then when he busted into his little solo, uh, it was cool. It was super, super neat. And so I, of course, enjoyed it. I do like Billy Joel. I really do. I uh, See what happens with this song release. It's interesting. They're pushing it because they haven't released anything in a while. I'm not talking about this track. I'm talking about that new song. But um, we'll see how much attention it really gets. You know, when you take off as many years as he has from writing tracks, I wonder if you lose a newer audience or if you care if you're him. I mean, it's like hit central. So anyway pretty cool i enjoyed this i hope you guys did too let's jump into tommy's one let's see what he did with the track let's give it a go are we ready for some tommy johansson heck yeah we are <laughs> so i wasn't totally surprised when i saw this pop up uh, maybe a little bit about the billy joel part i never know what he's gonna pick but this track of all the tracks kind of would be like sabaton ish because it's a little bit of history it's about a boat so uh a little bit going on there. It's kind of like this homage feel to, to what fishing or whatever. Anyway, um, let's jump in this together. Let's see what Tommy did. He's a huge Billy Joel fan. Hopefully. <laughs> let's do this. Well, I'm on.
Yeah, subscribe to Tommy if you guys have not already done so. You should have, though, right? You should have. Super fun. I liked it. That was a cool one. I enjoyed it. I, I wonder, like, why did Tommy pick this Billy Joel song? There's so much great Billy Joel stuff. What was this one? Was there an influence of the ocean? You know, or not? I think of Bismarck, the Sabaton track Bismarck. Kind of nothing to do with this track at all other than boats <laughs> but hey well i guess the same guy performing but anyway best track so best part of the track best part of the track was uh, the solo man the solo there was like a lot of precision going on in it and i totally dug it it was quick and so it left me like wanting more but uh, it's a cool track it's really short too it's not it's not long so i don't know should tommy do more billy joel that's enough billy joel tommy quit it <laughs> do some billy idol <laughs> Anyway, I, uh, I thought that was really good. I enjoyed it very much. I hope you guys did too. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Hopefully next week, Tommy does another track. Hopefully, right? Let's see what happens. Guys, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>